Hi guys, so today I'm making a video about how to settle into college or university in the UK. I think the main thing that worries most people is not making friends and not meeting people. So I think it's important that I speak about how to meet your flatmates and how to make friends at university. The main thing is to just be genuine and be open. So the first one I have in this sketchbook is Lana Del Rey, um, which is just as finished as it was last time I showed you it. She's got like a cracked skin texture. I'm obsessed with like cracks in paintings, I think. If you start to experiment with painting onto texture, you really go into like another dimension of painting. Talk about it. How does this lead to the clip you saw at the start of the video? You will find out because this is juicy. This is so bad. So when we were walking out of the club, we passed by that same bodyguard, his name was James, and we told the cops that were standing right there that this guy was threatening us and he just got completely out of line. So we got, so whether the cops did anything, I don't know. Personally, slight adjustment of wording. No person should speak to a person that way. I think regardless of gender, like, you know, people really shouldn't like be verbally insulting and aggressive towards people because I really love certain people on YouTube. And this brings me on to the next section because the whole of YouTube I feel was peaceful until Jeffree Star became a thing. I couldn't care less about Jeffree Star. He can go and have his career, whatever you want to call it. It's probably nice for him to have something to do other than go to the STI clinic. And I'm happy for him, even if he's making really average to poor quality makeup products. You know, people really shouldn't like be verbally insulting and aggressive towards people. And I'm sorry, I know I'm gonna get so much abuse for this, but I have to say it. When you actively promote someone's products and their brand and them as a person after they've been exposed as a bully. Maybe it's under Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Nope, I'm not seeing Laura Lee's palette under Jeffree Star's makeup. God, that face. Could kill a pigeon. <sighs> and you have a following of 5 million people on Instagram, nearly 6 million people on YouTube. You are telling your followers it's okay to be friends with the bully. It's fine to be friends with the bully. This is the launch of Cookie and Cosmetics. If Jackie Aina posted an anti-haul on YouTube a while ago and she basically, anti-haul is when you include products that you won't buy, that you're not interested in buying and you give reasons why you won't buy them. And she included Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks and she just said she wasn't interested. She knew the past of Jeffree and she just didn't feel comfortable supporting the brand. Let me know what you think about this. Do you think it's petty for her to do that? Because for me personally, I kind of feel like someone, if someone says to you like, are you friends with Hitler? Do you like Hitler? No, because he killed all those people. I did something most of you can't do. I sat with him, heard his story, got to know him and saw his heart. That was so heartwarming. Oh my God. We should try that with Hitler. Should we try it? Oh my God. So Hitler. I know you killed all those people and it was so traumatic, so ugly, obvi. But why did you do it? Hi John, thanks for having me. Yeah, so I did kill all of those people um, that were Jewish or that had brown eyes or brown hair or just weren't blonde hair, blue eyed. But the truth is, I was in a really bad mood. I had cramps that day. <laughs> I believe it was the Too Faced Sweet Peach Party, I do believe. The tea that I have for you from inside Too Faced is apparently there was 25 influencer packages that were sent out. Tati claims that she had a very bad run-in with Gerard, who's obviously we've spoken about. She claims that he was very rude, very disrespectful towards her, but she wouldn't really clarify exactly what happened, which was strange because she was publicly spilling the tea. He treated me with 
disrespect. I just could not get that out of my head that someone who runs Too Faced, this mega brand, would invite me to his party and I would show up and support and then be treated like that. But I have covered Too Faced scandals in the past. Despite the fact I've covered Too Faced scandals in the past, he reached out to me and invited me personally to their launch of their first store in London. So I attended the event by myself. As soon as I got there, as soon as I walked through the door, there was Titty Farm and I instantly had friends. So that was really fantastic. So I just want to be transparent with you and tell you I've been to a Too Faced event and I've met Gerard myself and spoken to him face to face and I'm hopefully going to be able to give you some background of my experience and all that kind of stuff. Not that that destroys any credibility from Tati, it doesn't, but it's just I can tell you my thoughts on the situation. So I was invited to this event and kudos to Two Face, I think, to, to invite someone like me that does investigations into brands and doesn't hold back to a launch party, I think is very ballsy and I think it shows, well, I think it shows integrity. I've gone to a few events before in the past that I've been invited to where the owners, it's usually the owners of the brands that have invited me because they're the ones that I'll usually talk to, whether it's Tarte, Revolution, etc. So when Tati got to the event, this is from what my understanding of what actually happened from an eyewitness. Tati approached Jared. Jared said hello, but he didn't know who she was that well. Now Tati apparently, according to my inside source, felt personally offended because she was number one invited by first name in the invitation, which was put all over Snapchat. It was obviously for PR, partly. It did upset me, it made me feel bad. And because of that, I am choosing to not give my energy and my support to this company and to this person who made me feel horrible. At the same time, I kind of felt like it was strange that Tati would have this experience, but not mention the smallest thing on her channel. I can understand her wanting to stay professional, but why would she suddenly be unprofessional talking about it? Do you see what I mean? The ass whooping that you deserve! Want people to feel bad for you, like you the fucking victim. But you the shadiest bitch I know. You talk shit, but can't never back it up. Back it up, fam! You know, it's on the iTunes store. I just searched for John Cook here. I am so excited because me and Amrezi put out these ringtones and the amount of money that we have raised for charity is going towards a charity that helps bring water to villages in Africa, like clean water. I just thought it would be fun for us to Hello, is this Prism? Pardon? Is this Prism in Birmingham? Yes, it is. Hey, uh, um, I just wanted to inquire about an event that you um, have going on on the 25th of September. Yeah? Not September, sorry, November. November? Yeah. Saturday yeah. night? Uh, yeah, is that for the uh, cookie and cosmetics launch? Uh, he cancelled with us. Oh right, he cancelled. Yeah, he cancelled his event with us. Oh right, is there is there a reason why? Because oh, like the is there a reason why? Because the event's no longer on Eventbrite or anything anymore. Have you bought a ticket? Uh yeah. How much have you paid for your ticket? It's thirty five pounds. Um, I think you need to contact him because he's the one that's cancelled with us. So he's the one that needs to reimburse you for your ticket. Oh, right, okay. it, it, um, did, you, did, did you not put a post up explaining that he cancelled with us, like he didn't want to do it at our venue anymore? 
Yeah, he said that there was a few problems at the venue, but I didn't know who I'm supposed to really speak it's to. It's not our venue that had the problems, it was him. He just decided he didn't want to do it at our venue. It is a very, very exclusive red carpet bougie event. There is photographers, food for everyone, professional canapes served by waiters. At the moment there's like three factories making different bits and pieces. They're all going to send it to the final factory which makes the cosmetics to be assembled and all of that stuff. My plan is to go and oversee and make sure the quality and everything is perfect because I just, I'm that type of person. <laughs> Cheap, tacky, unthought through, unimpressed, not investing in that brand. You would think that with all of this positive sort of feedback and with all of this sort of constructive redoing the website, she would be quite like, oh, well, you know what? Yes, John went in on me, but at least as he sort of called out my mistakes and things that maybe some people wouldn't have noticed, okay? You would think she would be appreciative of despite the fact all of her friends, Manny, Jeffrey, whoever else she's still clinging on to, all of those people, evidently not a single one had the heart to tell her that a website was garbage. Proudly and ethically produced in the United States. I haven't seen the factory, I don't know where she's manufacturing.
And it was very strange that she waited six months to publicly disassociate from Too Faced. That's another thing that I was just a bit like, I was curious about. I was curious how she was so upset, but she didn't talk about it for six months. And then she starts mentioning that she doesn't like Too Faced while she's in with Joffrey. Not that that is the reason, but it's just something to bear in mind. And and can, do you see what I mean? Like, And then six months later, that's that's when things pop, you know? It's from someone inside Morphe that's brought me the information. It's really juicy. When you're an influencer and you are making $75,000 a month from Morphe, around that mark from what I was told from someone inside Morphe, Morphe, the person inside Morphe's given me all of the receipts and stuff for this. Not receipts, but the person inside Morphe's spoken to me and they've given me a lot of accurate information before on things that I think you would have to know from working there, such as Jacqueline Hill's first time visiting the store, the time of day, who she came through, all that kind of stuff. So I do believe this is really accurate personally. Anyway, he announced this brush collection on Snapchat. It was a pink chrome brush collection to go in line with his sort of kids themed makeup. For all of y'all, <laughs> the brush collection will be coming back in stock. <laughs> it is in the pipeline. <laughs> Just be patient and it will be here soon. <laughs> 